Are we really filming this video when it's 94 degrees out? The answer is yes. I gotta show you guys something that can only be described as an experience. Hey guys, it's Jess. What's up? Welcome back. Today, we're going thrifting and we are gonna be thrifting for some fall trends, some fall staples and classics. And honestly, there's like not too much specifically that I'm looking for. There's like a few things, but like not really. But we're at one of my favorite thrift stores, Super Thrift Store Rescue Mission. It's in the Valley. It is such a good thrift store. I'm very excited. I'm also a little intimidated because the parking lot is popping. I feel like I've not seen it this busy ever so we'll see on the way over though i picked up a coffee from one of my favorite coffee places commissary i love the location in burbank just got my usual an iced oat milk latte i needed a bit of kick today so you better give me some kick why is it so busy it's monday also if you guys are like why are we doing fall right now? It's still summer, it's still August. I'm not ready for fall. The weather's not even fall. As someone who currently is having 90 degree weather here in LA, I'm right there with you, but you know, I'm trying to give you guys some inspiration so you guys can thrift and find these pieces before fall's here and then everything's picked over and then save them for when the weather is ready, for when you are ready. But on another note, I also just really love fall and I love fall clothing and fall style and just all things fall and Halloween. If you guys have been following my channel for any amount of time, you probably know I'm a fall fiend and um, I'm, I'm very excited about fall. So I, I wanted to I wanted to do it. It sounded like a fun time and we love a good thrift with me and we love a good thrift with me seasonally themed even more. It can only potentially get busier. So I better head in. They always have donations out the wazoo. They have so many donations, so many things. <gasps> a speckled pigeon. Fun fact about me that is so incredibly random. When I was younger, <laughs> I used to have a pet pigeon. I named her Samantha, but my dad refused to call her that. And he renamed her Pecky. So first thing I gotta say, I think TikTok has popped this place off. I, it is no longer mine and your guys' little secret. <laughs> it's so busy, but I guess that is good because they have a lot of donations and things off the bat i found this little checkered blazer and this is the perfect example of a fall classic a fall staple you can never go wrong with a simple print like this like a checkered plaid a hound's tooth during fall and oh, this is so cute it's only five dollars so one of you guys should come and swoop it up another great fall classic is a sleeveless knit especially when it has a bit of a mock neck like this one does. Another example in a bit more of like a bold bright shade. I definitely feel like this is better for winter just because, you know, red is a little bit more seasonal. I think a giant wave of people left because it's a lot chiller, calmer energy now which is very nice because when I first walked in, it's like, ah! I found my first fall trend to share and talk about with you guys. And this one is definitely not gonna be for everybody, but it is going to be the pop of color for this season. And it's hot pink. I think this is the perfect example of what I'm talking about. This is a hot pink. On camera, it's reading as red, but I promise you this is like a vibrant hot pink. It came from one of Valentino's earlier runway shows this year and their whole collection was this hot, vibrant pink. And ever since that show, it has been popping up everywhere for this fall and winter. This is a great shade to reach for. It's super fun. And I mean, for $4.99, this is also another great example. Hot pink and Ralph Lauren, little cable knit, zip up, perfect. You guys, I am unwell. I gotta show you guys something that can only be described as an experience. Okay, we've got the front. I was gonna shout them out as potentially kind of like a fall trend because they look like cargo pants. Cargo pants are big right now. Then you flip them around and what is this? Nice. Look at this. It is a little plaid high neck mini dress. It's so cute, it has a belt. It is absolutely precious. 
This is so quintessentially like 2010. This is an incredible piece. It is a camel trench coat by Ralph Lauren. This is the pinnacle of fall classic kind of pieces. Any sort of like trench coat, anything in this camel color family, anything with this really nice tailoring always is so beautiful for fall. And I just had to shout this piece out. Not at all fall related, but I have to show you guys this little plate that I just saw. It's so cute. And I just keep repeating myself. I do not need it, but I love it so much. It's a butterfly. How cute is this for $4.99? absolutely adorable i love you this piece is so meg ryan fall like this piece just has the energy of when harry met sally i love it grandpa jackets that look like this are also a huge fall trend honestly i feel like the design and the silhouette is just so simple that it almost is just like a basic staple kind of piece so you can wear it year round so it'll really have longevity in your closet the reason i call it a grandpa jacket because these are the type of jackets that my grandpa always 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 wore growing up a couple months ago jerf avenue came out with a jacket with the silhouette which brought it into the forefront of popularity and they're a really great piece to have it's a really great layering piece super simple very basic easy to pair and style and i've already seen like four or five at the thrift store so i feel like they're relatively easy to thrift. I've actually wanted to get one recently, so I was super excited to find one. So if you're interested in this trend, definitely check the thrift store or maybe even your grandpa's closet. A dark navy pinstripe trouser. Also, trousers just huge for fall. If you see any trousers that you like at the thrift store and they work for you, would recommend because trousers, one of my favorite pieces. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. It's such a wardrobe classic. It's a fall classic. It's a lifetime kind of classic black and white gingham also always great for fall this would not be a 2022 fall trends video if i did not mention vests i actually had to dress for the occasion it is one of my favorite trends it has been going strong all of 2022 and honestly i think it's going to carry into 2023 because people are loving the vest people are loving the tailoring the suiting classic little black vest this one is so specifically made for a suit it's a gray wool on the front and a lime green on the back. Pastel lime green, but still lime green. This one has big magician vibes. Super deep dark red velvet with these little sequinies. I love it. By the way, these are all men's vests. I have not seen any women's vests that are not like a feather down vest, like a Patagonia type of vest. So we're just perusing the men's vests. Oh, and one unique vest. This little design looks like the kind of ribbon that people get at the county fair. <laughs> very, very unique. What the? Another huge fall trend is actually kind of a whole aesthetic and it is the ballet core leg warmers. Ballet flats have officially made their way back. Wrap style tops, the little fluttery ballet skirts, anything kind of in the ballet inspired family. And I actually just found yet another pinnacle of fall trends. This pair of ballet flats in it's a really cute print, very vintage inspired. I love the color palette. I love the threading. It's like a wool. I am not a lover of ballet flats by any means, but those are very cute. Would I wear them? Remains to be seen, but I do find them very cute. This pair is even more ballet flat inspired. It actually has the little point at the bottom instead of just being rounded. I don't mind those either. Again, would I wear them? I don't think so, but I can appreciate them. Midi skirts are also very popular right now. I actually quite love a good midi skirt. In addition to wearing a vest that I thrifted to match today's theme, I also wore a midi skirt that I thrifted as well. The store has cleared out considerably. <laughs> it's so nice. It was, again, as I already said earlier, it was really popping. And now it's, it's normal, usual cadence and pace, a lot more chill, a lot more casual. It's very nice. You guys, every time I see them at the thrift, I have to point them out. 
the childhood chairs. As always, when I see them, let me know in the comment section if you had them growing up because I really do feel like everybody had them. The nostalgia. All right, heading out. I feel like it was a relatively successful trip. Well, I'm gonna head home and I will see you guys in the next clip for the haul. It's the next day, hello. We've got a bit of a haul to do. I did pick up a couple of pieces, but before I do the haul, I thought we'd do a little fall trend report slash fall classics basic staples overview so I can talk a little bit more in depth about certain pieces that I did not see at the thrift store but I still want to talk a little bit about to give you guys some further inspiration when you're thrifting when you're shopping maybe even just looking in your own closet and you can also check out a family member's closet especially for trends as with all trends they're cyclical so there's a chance that one of those types of pieces could be hiding in your mom's your aunt's your grandma's your grandpa's somebody's closet so it's worth looking starting off with fall trends we talked about the ballet core ballet inspired pieces i actually have a wrap style top in my wardrobe that i've had probably two years maybe three years and a piece like this is a really great one to dip your toe into the trend if you are mildly intrigued because it's such a simple piece that even when the trend kind of passes, piece won't be out of style. It's still so simple, so sty stylable. Is that a word? There's a lot of longevity with it. Hi. Coffee delivery. Thank you. Wow, what a dream boat. Get you a man who. Best or something we also touched on. I am a huge fan of this trend. I think they also have a lot of mix and matchability. You can wear them long sleeve, short sleeve, over a button up. You can wear them on their own. There's a lot of variety on this one. I really, really like them. And I actually, I'm gonna do some shameless self promo. I am going to be coming out with a video very, very soon on how to sew your own vest. I'm gonna show you guys from like start to finish how to sew one and also how to alter a short sleeve button up or a long sleeve button up to be a vest. So if you're interested in that, uh, definitely make sure you're subscribed, have those notifications on. That video will be coming in the next week or two. I have the cutest fabric for it. I am so excited to work on that video and I think I also might do a giveaway for a matching vest in that video. You'll have to watch the video if you wanna see about that. Another huge trend that I don't really know how to feel about, I mean, personally, it's not my vibe. It's just interesting to see it have already become popular again. And that is Aviator inspired wear. So I think a lot of this influence comes from Top Gun. Oh my gosh, someone just lost a balloon. There's no sadder feeling than you're holding a balloon and then it just slips out of your hand. Someone's red star balloon just floated off into the sky. I mean, at 9.30 a.m., that is a bummer. Anyways, things like bomber jackets, aviator glasses, things that are aviator pilot vibes. Last trend thing we're going to talk about is fall shoe trends. I didn't get a chance to talk about this at all at the thrift store because I didn't see any of the fall shoe trends. So we're going to talk about it here. First and foremost, calf length and knee length boots. Any sort of, especially 90s inspired, very, very popular. So again, this is a good one to check your mom's closet for. One shoe in particular, that I was always really opposed to, but recently it has been growing in my favor to the point that I have put them on my birthday list of things that I would like for my birthday. And those are the Birkenstock Boston Clogs. I have seen so many people styling these in the recent months. I think they're really cute and I think I want a pair. Anyways, very popular for fall, but beyond just that specific pair, Clogs in general are very, very popular. Now let's touch on fall classics. This one is super easy for me because again, I am a fall fiend. First, prints and patterns, houndstooth, plaid, checkered, and gingham can also be great. Fall inspired colors, like think of the leaves on trees. So deep reds, mustards, marigolds, oranges, burnt orange, especially anything that's in that kind of fall shade, darker greens, browns, anything in the camel color family is so beautiful for fall. I absolutely love sweater vests, cable knits, cardigans. Loafers are a fall classic, but they also are very, very popular right now, especially a chunkier style. So that's like a very good one to invest into for like a trend, but also again, has longevity in the wardrobe. If you guys wanna see like a fall capsule wardrobe video where I 
make a plethora of outfits and style all these different fall pieces, just let me know. Haul time. First up, I picked up this gorgeous burnt orange shoulder bag. When I saw this, I was so excited. I am going to be having the best time selling this for fall. I love the late 90s meets early 2000s style of this purse. I think it's so cute. The only downside about this piece is it was the most expensive thing in this whole haul, comprising up of maybe like 40% of my total. I spent basically $60, it was like $59.94. This piece was $18.99, so quite pricey. Next is something I think some of you guys are gonna be like, why did you buy that? But it is such an easy fix that I was like, I'm gonna pick it up anyways and fix it. Next up, we have this baby blue Pendleton crop top. Now, the thing that is wrong with it is right at the bottom, there is a mysterious stain and uh, it's big. It does not look like it's gonna come out. However, there is the perfect little seam all the way around that is just above the stain that I can just seam rip out and I can just make this a shorter hemmed top. And it worked out so perfectly because all the stains are below this seam. So all I have to do is just seam rip it out. And then this piece is golden. Next, I picked up these flowy floral cool pants. You guys know I love my cool pants. These just felt like such a drapey comfy fabric and I liked the color palette of it. I liked the art style and I think I'm gonna really like styling these. I ended up deciding to pick up the Meg Ryan Fall Houndstooth Blazer. I actually am working on a Meg Ryan Fall outfits video. So if you guys want to see some Meg Ryan inspired outfits and get inspired to make your own Meg Ryan Fall, you guys should, again, subscribe. Make sure you have those notifications on. I also picked out something for my husband. I got him this brown and stone colored breezy button up. He is a big fan of a good printed button up and I think he's going to look so handsome in this. And the last thing that I picked up was the grandpa jacket. I think the actual name for this type of jacket is a sports jacket, just in case you're trying to search one up yourself. But I, I really like this. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun styling it and I was super excited to find it. Well, that's a wrap on the haul and on today's video. I hope you guys got a lot of ideas and inspiration as you're thrifting and looking into your own closet and shopping and, you know, curating for fall. Again, as I said, I have a lot of fun videos coming soon, a lot of fall videos, a lot of sewing and styling and fashion and fun. So if you want to make sure you don't miss out on any of that, please subscribe down below, join the family. And if you guys want to keep up with me more on the day to day. You guys can find me on both TikTok and on Instagram at Jessica Neistat. There's always fun stuff going on over there. And I think that's all I've got for today. So thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video and spending a bit of your day with me. I love and appreciate you guys so, so much. And I'm so grateful for our piece of the internet we have, this community. I really, truly appreciate you guys. And I just wanna say thank you again for being here. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.